Welcome to the Fasting Podcast, WOW! Wellness in Optimal Weight. I'm your host, Julie Phillips, Certified Natural Health Professional, bringing you Episode 98, Need More of Certain Things During Fasting? Fasting does put a stress on the body, oftentimes a good stress on the body, and some people get a little carried away with it. Some people are listening to bad advice sometimes. So let's talk about some things you really might need more of, whether you're doing extended water fast occasionally or just regular intermittent fasting. Minerals like to service the sodium potassium pump and magnesium and iodine for the thyroid are often lacking. So a beautiful, simple, inexpensive approach is grab a little bottle of the pink Himalayan sea salt or the there's another brand on Amazon in little bottles. You can use this and sprinkle it on your veggies, put a little bit in your water, and this will help with all kinds of minerals and electrolytes. Also, many who do fasting are not getting enough absorbable organic protein. We did multiple episodes on protein, so it's very important to get enough good protein. And people that are getting the heartburn reflux type of situation or vegans, sometimes are low on this, but definitely many people out there are not getting enough of this. So check out the episodes we've done on protein. And also there's one on the keto craze. And there's also one on the alarming insights on keto diets. So check that out because our bodies really do need some complex carbs, including some organic fruit. So we're talking always eat clean and organic whenever possible. Many people who are doing the fasting aren't getting enough fiber. Fiber is very important for so many reasons, including getting your probiotics, which are our friendly flora, important for digestion, assimilation, and immune system to survive and thrive. They need prebiotics, which can include a good fiber. So you can get fiber in your diet, but check out how you're doing with that. We have done an episode on fiber. And here's a real big one, topics beyond just food, plentiful, pure water, but don't overdo the water. We've done episodes on water before, but we don't want to do the plastic bottled water. People don't realize how toxic it is right off the assembly line. And we don't want to do water void of minerals without remineralizing the water. What's water void of minerals? Well, reverse osmosis has no minerals. So you want to make sure the good minerals are put back in there. And you also want to be careful about distilled water because that's in the same situation. So plentiful pure water is typically half your weight in ounces of pure water per day. For example, 180 pounds, 90 ounces of water. Typically, maybe I do 20 to 30 minutes before a meal and wait at least an hour or more after I've eaten and chewed really well on my food to get it liquid before I swallow it. Maybe you're not getting enough bowel movements. We did do an episode on bowel movements. That is crucial because as you're fasting and losing toxic fat, it needs to come out through the bowels and the urine. So we need the plentiful pure water, the fiber to soak up the toxins and the bowel movements, get that river flowing and get it clean. Maybe people during fasting might not be getting enough exercise But you don't want to go too extreme and vigorous if you're doing an extended fast because the body could literally, with gluconeogenesis, could break down the amino acids in your muscle to turn it into sugar to feed your cells to make energy. So you don't want to overdo it because that exercise, if you're too, too vigorous during an extended fast, the body might get desperate and go after some of your muscle mass, which is not a good thing for anybody deep sleep. Maybe you're not getting enough deep sleep. That's when your body is balancing those very important leptin and ghrelin hormones that tell our brain when we're hungry, when we're full. That's when in the deep sleep, the body does major repair of very important organs like the kidney and the liver. Relaxation. Maybe you need more relaxation because when we're super stressed and not relaxing, We know that the adrenal glands can pump way too much stress cortisol hormone and it can lay belly fat. So that's a real key one. 
metrics. Know your numbers. You can get a body composition scale for less than $30 on Amazon that'll tell you whether your muscle mass is going down during your program, whether your body fat is going down, or whether even if you think you're thin, maybe you have high visceral fat clinging to vital organs. And we did do an episode on visceral fat. So I'm going to recap these things that you might need more of during fasting. Minerals like sodium, potassium pump, magnesium, iodine for the thyroid, absorbable organic protein, some organic complex carbs, including some fruit, fiber, probiotics, and prebiotics to help those friendly flora survive, plentiful pure water, bowel movements, maybe two or three per day if you're eating two or three times a day, exercise but not too, too vigorous during the extended fast, deep repairing sleep, relaxation, and metrics. For questions or suggestions, contact me, Julie, at jpwowprograms.com, and please refer others to the podcast and check out the website. You can actually find the podcast on the website, www.jpwowprograms.com, and the podcast is one of the tabs, and our favorite natural products are out there as well. Stay positive, focused, and determined because where the mind goes, energy flows.